everybody welcome back I've got a journal to share with you guys today this is a um, design team project for Calico Collage um, and Linda Israel um, this is a kit that is only available through Linda Israel's subscription box so if you're interested in this kit I'm gonna put the link below and you can hop over and take a look at that um, because this is an exclusive, you won't find this in um, the shop of Norella's. So, um, so anyways, let's just get started. This is a about a five and a half by eight and a quarter journal. It's two signatures, and I've created this using a file folder, but then I've also layered it with some batting and muslin. So it's got the feel of a fabric, but then I've also <clears throat> taken one of the images and stitched that as well. So I'll try to give you guys a, a close-up here. I've got a metal flower plate. I've got the um, metal book plate. And then I've got this little tag. Whoops, sorry, that's upside down. So there's a little pocket with a tag here. There's a bit of vintage trim and a little bit of a cutout doily. Um, the closure is sari silk and I really like this. <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm crazy. I woke up thinking about this design because I love the Coptic and the French stitch. Um, I like all of those types of journals and you guys know I, I've been wanting to dabble in that more but I just haven't had the time. And so it made me think, gosh, I really want the spine to have the appearance of one of these um, bound journals. But obviously I'm not that advanced to do it. So that's how I came about this. And I really like it because it, you know, at a distance you kind of get the impression that maybe it is... Um, one of those types of journals. So anyways, that's that's my thought process behind that. It's crazy, but uh, I take it another image and then I did um, some more stitching around the back. Really pleased with how it's come out. Um, yeah, it's not often that you visualize something in your mind and then are able to put that um, into your project, but I'm really, really pleased with how that's come out. It's a beautiful kit. Um, it's been very gray here this weekend. And we, we've, we've had beautiful weather last week, but it turned terrible, of course, for the weekend. And so it was very gray. And when I printed this out, honestly, my um, spirit was just lifted because it is so vibrant. And what I love about this, it's very unusual to find a kit that is orange. And Linda's named this Outrageous Orange, which I think is a perfect name for the for this kit because it is um it's stunning. I really really love this and it's got the really pretty um greens with it. So yeah. Uh okay, I've made a card uh tag here with a little tuck spot and then another small tuck spot here and I've just added another little stamped image. I've done quite a few stamped tags and things in the kit and uh, throughout the journal but I just want to give you guys a really close-up the images are so so pretty in this um, here I made a little tuck spot did a, a few more stamped tags here I did a bit of uh, fancy uh, stitching off of my machine I'm trying to dabble in that a bit more Sometimes it cooperates, uh, most of the time not so much, <laughs> so I'm still trying to get used to that. Um, just some flips, I love to have those. I love this image, this is in the kit, and I've cut it down into a tag. Um, and then just another little stamped card and just another um, little tag from my stash. And this is a... Um, Anna Griffin uh, cutout pocket. A uh, little envelope that's been tea dyed and did a bit of stamping there. I've tried to do quite a bit of stitching throughout the journal. 
Um, the thread is dark brown, but it really comes out like it's black. Um, but it is a chocolate, as I thought it really went nice with this. Um, it's a large kit. There's a lot of papers. Um, and then um, there's a lot of elements that go to this as well. I love that. Um, I think Norella's done a really nice job of mixing... Um, kind of some vintage with um, contemporary and it's really worked nice I think and like I said I fell in love with it when I saw it because it is a very it's very unusual to find this much orange unless it's in the autumn we see a lot of this but <clears throat> not so much the rest of the year so I was really drawn to this um, and she's got a lot of um, planner type pages in here so that's really nice now this um, I just created this is one of the little Tim Holtz photo things so that you've got space you could add some little things there and then I've just filled it with some off cuts of my um, tea, day, tea dye paper so that's just like a little notebook I've tucked in there and these uh, pockets come in the kit here I just take took the um, tickets and stitched those down behind this and then I did some stamping. It says we are all a little fragile. Lots of lined paper in here for writing. I love that. Really, really nice, um, nice kit to work with. Here I did a little um, altered paper clip and these come in the kit and then I just took one of the elements and put that onto a um, coin envelope and then because I <laughs> had tea dyed this um, it sealed itself so I've had to just snip that so you'd have an opening but there's a little tag that I made that's another one of the fussy cuts you get in the kit Some more little flips. Love these. I love the um, distressed circles in the background. That is so pretty. And this this is a gorgeous page with the grid paper. That is pretty. Here I've done a uh, little pocket flip out, and then I did this little. It says I love being the queen bee. And then this flips over so that you've got another tuck spot with a little library card I've tucked in there. And then I've created this. And it says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. And that's just tucked in there. Here, um, this is the back of the envelope. So I just did some stitching down there. And then here I just did a bit of collaging. And I did some stamping on some muslin. Stitched around that. Put an eyelet in there. And that's some of the Irish linen thread. Here I did just a little tuck spot up there. And added a little journal card. And here's just various things. Um, this is a bit of that textured wallpaper, so I've done a pocket with that, with some stitching around. And then these are just various things um, that I had in my stash, so I've tucked those in. This is the second signature. Isn't that paper beautiful? I love all the butterflies. It just really makes you think, oh, summer's close. <laughs> uh, here. This is a journal card from the kit, and then I just made a tiny, tiny tag that I stamped, and I did a little tuck spot here. This butterfly comes, so I fussy cut around that, and just another little journal card from my stash. Here, I've just backed some of the Tim Holtz paper with some tea dyed paper so that you'd have a bit more writing space. And then this, I, this is one of the elements that you can fussy cut around. I've added that to another one of the textured wallpaper pockets. 
And, oh yeah, here we go. This is another one of the pockets that's included in the kit. And here is a, I love that journal card. That is gorgeous. And then this one as well. So bright and cheerful. Honestly, it just makes you feel happy when you're working with this. Love this page. Love those butterflies and the dragonfly there. A little bit of ledger paper. Here is another little, um, it's almost like a double tuck spot there, the way that's come out. And there's another close-up of the pages. Yeah, it gives you hope that it won't be too much longer. We'll have uh, some nicer weather. <coughs> here I've just created one large uh, pocket. Because here I've stitched all the way around. It says, always look on the bright side of life. That's such a nice thing. I love this page as well. Really pretty. Here I did a little tea bag pocket and I've created a little tag here. This is another uh, bit from the kit that you can cut out. So I've added that. I did a bit of layering here and put one of the Tim Holtz die cuts because it's got the orange. I thought that matched nicely. I love this page. I love polka dots. So pretty. I uh, believe there's a hundred, about 104 pages. Uh, this is the center of the signature, so uh, Norella's included this nice um, little planner for the week. I love that. And so I've added that at the center of the signature. So as I was saying, there's, a, there's about 104 pages here. Um, it's got a lot of writing space for you. This is a little tag I've um, stamped out. This is another one of the journal kits, uh, cards. It's got the little fox on there. Beautiful. I did a double pocket on this page. And then that's the another of the butterfly cutouts that you get. That's another beautiful planner page that she's included. I love that. It's nice to have these where you can jot down things. Here I just did another um, altered paper clip because she gives you the little banners. And then this tag, I just collage some of the elements together. Um, and then here is another little pocket so that you can have another little tag there. And this one I've just clipped in. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. Like I said here, it uh, we had had beautiful weather last week, and then it uh, really, really turned nasty. And um, it started on Saturday, and yesterday was awful. So I didn't get to go to my usual car boot, which I really bummed me out because that's something I really look forward to on the weekend. Just a few more things from my stash. <coughs> That I've included. And this is another of the Anna Griffith pockets. Love those pockets. So yeah, it wasn't uh, really didn't do much. Um, I kind of just took the time off. I you guys know I'd been kind of fighting a cold. This is another pocket that she includes. And I just this weekend I thought, oh, I really must just try to rest and get over this. So that's really what I did. Is just took it easy. Um, I don't really like weekends like that. I like to be doing something because I get really frustrated if I'm sitting around the house. I used to be able to do that when I was younger, um, uh, but not now. I, I don't know. This is uh, another one of the vintage music sheets, and I've just sandwiched it between the wax paper. I've tucked that in there, so you could either glue this down permanent in the journal or take it out or use it um, in a different journal. And this is another of the library cards that comes. I love this. Wherever life plants, you bloom with grace. Here I've done one of the big coin envelopes. I love those. I'm so addicted to them. So I've included that. And then I'm really, really excited. This is my new stamp. So that I've, I've added that to the back of the journal. This is handmade by the Firefly Studio 67. 
so all of my journals are going to start having um, my uh, little tag in the back. So there it is, guys. I I loved working with this kit, and I'm sure that you will as well. So I will put the link below. You guys check it out, and I hope everybody's having a great start to the week, and I will be back uh, very soon to show you some more things. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I hope that you will um, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so that you can get notifications of all my future uh, videos. Take care, guys. Bye.